Viewer discretion advised. Hey, what's up everybody? Big D here. It's time to review Bones, Season 10, Episode 8, titled The Puzzle Puzzler in the Pit. I'm sorry, it's hard to read sometimes without my glasses. Uh, the spoiler review, if you've not seen the episode, go to... F, uh, I'm sorry, fox.com slash bones. Watch the full episode there. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the whole episode. Pros to cons, give me my final score at the end. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, every Thursday I also review Grace Point, which is also on Fox. Fridays, Constantine, and Z Nation. Now, let's uh, start off, man. There's this guy who died at a fracking uh, site, and his acids, like... His remains are dumped in acid, basically, and his bones and tissue are, you know, burning away. And Brennan gives Daisy some of Christine's toys, because uh, Daisy's pregnant with Sweet's baby and everything. Lawrence Brooks is our victim's name, and he's a crossword puzzle master, man. So big in 2014, those crossword puzzles, aren't they? Oh, back in my day, of course. So, clues on uh, his cast, and there's, like, clues of death and revenge. And he had a threat call, and he questions Emery, which is this guy named Emery Stewart. And they're at Daisy's appointment, and Donald is the one who threatened Lawrence. And he had, well, we find out that Lawrence had Alzheimer's, and that's not a good thing. Uh, so, stealing Donald's poems, basically, Donald is his, like, old partner, old friend. And he's like, you know, oh, he stole my poems and all my stuff and my crosswords and... He took fame, and who's blaming who, and who's playing the dick, and who's playing the woman, the man. It's kind of all that. And basically, Aubrey is being bossy. I love that part. And Booth had a gambling problem, of course, before. Olivia did it. We found out that his assistant did the gambling part and the money part. But Daisy, uh, Daisy's having contractions and her water breaks, and it's a beautiful moment, man, if you haven't seen... A uh, person having birth, and just it's on YouTube. Just look it up. It's not hard. It's part of life. Get it over with. Boom. Anyway, I mean, just of watching the video. Not, in real life, it's really hard, but it's simple. Get it over with. Watch it. So sh she has the birth man, and Emery is Lawrence's son, and he's the one who killed his father by accident because Alzheimer's. You know, he's crazy at a point, and he's like, I don't know you, who are you, and he, he attacks, and he broke his neck by accident, and that tried to hide the remains, putting an ass at the fracking site. Anyway, uh, she gives birth, and his name is Seely Lance Sweets. Overall, what did I think about this episode overall, man, for Bones this week? Was it worth the wait? Was it worth the tension? Well, let's start off with my cons first. Not all the jokes work tonight. Not all the jokes. Now, there were some jokes that kept me, haha, but some were no. Brennan's really annoying. I know she's the, the main character of Bones. But just the way she's so... I mean, I know that she's been the way for the past ten years, but still, she's not really fun. I mean, she's mean to Daisy. She, and she talks like this, and, well, Daisy, I think that maybe you, we should, um... Go to the uh, appointment and just talk in that way. And it's like, it's like, no, I don't think your baby can with understood that. And I don't even know what I just said because I'm trying to talk like her. But, oh my God, why am I talking like her now? Anyway, yeah, so that's how uh, it is. And it's a very annoying point. It's really annoying. Not the actress, just the character itself, Brennan. Um, the suspect's acting. Like when he was like, my dad had Alzheimer's. I could have helped him. I could have helped. He has Alzheimer's. You can't really do 100% much of anything. So, no, you couldn't have helped him because he would forget you five minutes later. Now, pros. The ending, though, the birth and everything, it was really cute. Um, I like how Booth was like, oh. I mean, he just couldn't watch it. And then H Hodgins is there. He's just like, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. It's pretty funny. Uh, the baby plot overall, I mean, I'm kind of... Like, ah, why did you have to have the baby this episode? You, you could have built it up this season and, like, at the end of the season had the baby. No, just one episode. I'm back, guys. Oh, I'm pregnant, of course, because I've been pregnant. And boom, had the baby that episode. But still, the baby plot was pretty cool at the end. Uh, Aubrey's bossiness, though. I mean, Aubrey hasn't really been doing much this season, but for what we had this episode, it was really funny. Really cool. So overall, it's a fun episode. Now, it's not the best episode of season 10. I mean, we've had some better plots. 
We've had some better action in an episode, but for what we had, it suffices. And I'm giving this episode a B plus, secondarily a B minus. It's a fun episode. It's good. It's not great. It's entertaining, of course, with the baby plot now. The Alzheimer's and Lawrence and all them, I could have seen more crosswood puzzle type of killing. But no, it was more like I broke his neck. I'm sorry. Overall, thanks so much for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed. See you in two weeks, uh, which will be December 4th. So it returns. There's no uh, bonus next week because it's Thanksgiving. So dig in, my friends. May the smock be with you always.